everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, hi, I am Sharla and you have entered my beauty room. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a DIY video and I have a special guest with me. You said we and then I'm like, I'm right here, I'm down here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so me and Tanya are going to be doing some DIY crafts like pillows, canvases, bags of fun stuff you guys don't want to miss out and she's also filming some DIYs on her channel so we're kind of like collabing so you'll yes. see some projects on her channel and then some on mine so make sure you check out her video after you check out mine so yeah let's go ahead and get into this video because I'm super excited and we've got a lot to do so yes let's, let's get go. into it Shopping adventures with Tanya. We are crafting. <laughs> oh, what are we gonna do today, Tanya? We gonna do a lot. We already got pink pillows up in here. All right, so we're gonna start with the pillows. Yes, we're gonna make some DIY designer throw pillows. So I have to get this bucket because it was pink. <laughs> <laughs> We're also gonna do some DIY making uh, poof balls pink, so I'm excited to see how those come out because I've never done that before. Tanya has, so we'll see. What else we no, got? No, serious. When we got this glue. Oh, I actually needed that, I but know. yeah. <laughs> I don't even think we're using them. So we've got vinyl, paint brushes, pillow stuffing. We've got a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah. Let's show you guys. Here are the pillows we're going to be doing. Okay. I think this one's Sonia's. Is that mine? Oh, yeah. yeah. This is that one's Sonia's. And then this one's mine. I wanted a little long one to go with my pillows over there because I already have a square pillow. So I was like, let's do a little okay, so long I'm pillow. I'm making these two pillows. They're both square pillows. Ooh, Except that one's going to be cute. One, yes, this one has like the outline. Like Chanel vibes. Yes. I'm excited to see that one. These are what I got. These were from Hobby Lobby and they were 30% off, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I paid very little for these, which you guys know how expensive designer inspired throw pillows are. So I thought I'd make my own. And look at the cute little tote bags we're gonna They're do. So little. <laughs> Perfect for like babies or your daughters. We just thought this was so cute, so. Yeah. You can even hang this in your car to this like put your chargers the, or whatever. This can be the charm for the big tote bag. <laughs> oh, oh my god, for real. We got, we got bigger tote bags too, but we also got these little ones. So we're going to make some totes and some pillows. Here's our stuffing. Yes. All right. So yes. And then we got some stencils for our canvases, but we're going to do that last. Stencil. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our pillows out and our totes. Here's your tote, you got the black one, yes. and then I got... She got the beige one. This beige one. We gonna need a lint roller for this. Yes. Oh, you got a smaller one. It is? Oh. Yeah. Mine's like a book bag and hers is more like a tote bag. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Yes. Okay, so first we're gonna do the pillow. This is going to be how big it is going to be and then now I'm just going to cut the logo on the pink vinyl and I hate that this is not sticky. Probably going to have to wash it. Here it comes. Okay. So now it's done. I'm going to go ahead and peel it and then y'all will see me ironing it on. I think that's gonna come out cute. Okay, let me peel it off. So this is how the pillow is gonna look. I already took off the excess vinyl and now we're going to iron it on. But look how cute it's gonna look. It's gonna look so cute on my couch. I'm excited. And now I'm just cutting out the vinyl for my tote bag so we're gonna DIY a Chanel tote bag and then we have the little mini ones too so that's gonna be cute and then we even have these pearl 
keychains. And then we have some poof balls that we're gonna DIY and paint them pink. So I'm excited to see how that comes out. We're gonna use this writ. So we'll see how it comes out. I don't know where I just take to. Okay guys, so here is how the vinyl looks before it's ironed on. So we have the tote bag, and then we have the cute mini tote bags. How cute is that? They're gonna look so adorable. And then we have my pillow up here with Sebastian. And yeah, and then Tanya has all hers over there. If you guys wanna see what she's making, go to her channel. But yeah, let's go ahead and heat press these on so we can show the reveal and then we'll start the canvases. Our ice cream's here. I know. <laughs> so you move it over and then you do the same thing. Put the timer on again. So you flip it the other way and then you press the I also the iron it on the other side just so that the heat, the heat goes through like on both sides so that it's like really like into it. And then this material is like really thick so you might even have to like iron it on again like longer than 30 seconds mm. because of the material. Interesting. So. You can test a piece, but I think I need to do it a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna... Do it one more time? Yeah, just do it one more time. So you just wait a few seconds and then you are Yeah, you just to want it to it. cool a little bit. And voila! We have a pillow! So cute! So you just repeat this process for everything that is iron on? Yes. That's how it comes out. She cute! I like it. Okay, let's do yours. Okay. Alright, so here is everything ironed on. So first we've got the little mini totes. These will be so cute for your daughter. And look how this one came out. And then we did pink ones, of course. Look how cute the pink ones came out. They're just so cute and mini. So yeah, these are perfect for your daughter if she wants to match with you. And then we have the pillowcase. We're about to stuff it. And then the tote bag. I need to clean it because it's a little dirty right here, but this is how the tote bag came out. I'm over here stuffing away. <laughs> <laughs> super, super cute. Danielle's already stuffing her pillows. So yeah, let's go ahead and stuff this pillow and then I'm gonna show you how it looks on my couch. I'm excited. Okay, so here is how my pillow looks. It is so cute. I definitely want to make another one now because I think I need two, but this is so cute. I love how it looks on my little bench and it is so cute. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put two of like things of this. Hopefully that's enough. I feel like three. <laughs> They're gonna be red, Tanya. <laughs> no, this is pink. Okay. There's no way they would be red unless this was red. I forgot. Give me that stick that came with your pillow. Oh yeah. There, so I can stir it. <laughs> Cause I forgot to get something to stir it. My hot cold. Here it is. I'm just gonna stir it and then you're just supposed to like dip these in. Let's see if it works on the first one. Ready? Set, go. Get in there. It looks red. It's not gonna dye your finger, is it? Oh well. So I know you are supposed to leave it in there for a minute. It does look blush. I was like, nothing's happening. Can you see? Oh, it is turning. It's blush, look. You just gotta make sure it's in there. 
if it dyes my hands oh well you guys you'll know why my hands are pink in the next video <laughs> <laughs> does it say how much to put depending on how much water it just depends how much you want it to dye i think but i think you need to put more no okay hold on i don't want to dye my pants so it's, i, I was mean about it's to already say, uh... pink and white but <laughs> wow you learn something new every day who would have thought you can make your own pink poofs? Me and my brilliant ideas that I have in the middle of Hobby Lobby. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, let's make pink poofs. I was like, wait. And then we got these cute keychains yes, to put on it. Cute. That's going to look so cute. Now we just got to figure out how we're going to like put them on this. I'm sure there's a way. Hmm. We'll figure it out. Oh, here it is. This is how we're gonna put them on there. This thingy. And it has a little opening. You stretch the fabric far enough, it gets thinner. The little string. Ta-da! Oh, nice. Um, pass me the scissors over there. I'll just take off these tags. Imagine you try to return these, it's a whole different color. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, uh, ma'am? They didn't make these in pink. Okay. We're going to be painting some canvases that are going to go on top of my mirror there. I had some pictures there before, but I got tired of them, so I took them down. I wasn't feeling them, so we're going to put some canvases. We're going to paint them with Chanel designs, all that cute stuff, so you guys will see how it looks. Okay, so now we're down to the last DIY, which is our canvases. I'm Woo. doing one, you're doing two. Yes, I'm doing two because I want it to fill my whole wall on top of my mirrors. And yeah. I don't so know where I'm putting mine, I'm just doing it for fun. You'll find somewhere. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We've got all the paint, so I definitely want to do one canvas like this cream nude color and then a stencil. another canvas I want it to be pink so we'll see how it comes out. Okay so here's how the canvas is coming out so far. <laughs> so. It looks crazy right now but basically what we did is just um, we printed a CC logo with the sticker vinyl and we just stuck it on and then now we're just painting around it so hopefully it comes out good if not we're just gonna have to paint over it the idea is to remove this logo and then once you remove it it reveals just the white logo yeah like because it'll be the color of the canvas but we're not too sure <laughs> it's gonna come out right uh, i'm hoping it does the good thing is these are 80 cent paints and if it doesn't come out then we can just paint, paint over it, it. <laughs> yep so that's the beauty of doing your own stuff. <laughs> and then so we're just gonna draw like the flowers around it. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna have to wait for the base so color dry to dry. To, yeah. Well we need a little more paint though. Okay. Watch this come out bad and you know, we peel it off. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully these DIYs don't go wrong, but <laughs> Here's my Chanel one, and then I painted a pink one over there. So we're letting that dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel off this sticker. I'm gonna hold it. Yeah, and see how it comes out. I'm scared, low key scared. Okay. That came out like such a pretty nude pink. It actually came out good. Yeah. Wow. We were so scared it was gonna like, the paint was gonna run and like look ugly. But it actually looks perfect. <laughs> oh, this is the only part, but you can fix that. Yeah. Oh, it looks so bad. Not bad at all. Look at you, DIY queen. <laughs> Here's a little sneak peek. Go watch my video. Do your legs hurt, Danya? Oh, the 
Brandy. <laughs> I'm just like. Well, we've got the stencil on and I paint. There you go. Okay. So now we're just waiting for the paint to dry because I put the stencil on top of the canvas. As you guys can see, I just painted it white. So the canvas is going to be pink and then the leathers are going to be white. And the color, if you guys want to know what the color paint that is, the type of pink, I think it's called Touch O Pink. This is what it looks like. So this is the color of the canvas. Doesn't know where this is going to go, but it's cute. Oh yeah? Sneak it's peek of Tanya's. Like, it's still it came out so good. It, yeah, it's okay. I like it. I like it. So yeah, and then this one, we're going to put flowers on the corners. And then we'll be done. Like, this was the longest DIY project. No wonder people charge like $80 for canvases. <laughs> this Not that they do them like this. Like, they are printed, but that must be one expensive printer. Yeah, because... I was gonna buy some canvases, but they're like sixty to eighty dollars. So I was like, I can just make one. And now I'm like, oh my god, I understand why. <laughs> There's so much. So yeah, just letting you guys know if y'all decide to do canvases, good luck because we've been here since six o'clock, and now it's about to be twelve o'clock. It was o seven. It was seven thirty. We started at seven thirty, and now it's already gonna be midnight. So. Miss and Brooke. And there's Sebastian. He's like, I'm tired. Let's go to bed, mom. <laughs> so, yeah. Look at all this mess we made, too. So, don't try this at home unless you're prepared to get messy and get crafty. <laughs> okay. Let's go and peel this sticker off. I'm nervous. Talk about Jeffree Star. He's barely in here. I'm going to pull from this fairy deck first, actually. So let's go ahead and pull from this fairy deck. I want to reverse this. Let me pause this so we don't get copyrighted. Okay, so now we're putting the flowers on this canvas, and Tanya's very, very artistic. I'm so glad she's doing this with me because mine came out so ugly. And she it had to not. fix it. That came out good. That one is the only one I did. The rest of them, she had to fix them. Because they came out crappy. It's okay. This one was your first one. <laughs> so, it's So, good thing I have her with me. And then the other one that I did came out really, really good. I'll show y'all once it's hung up on the wall. But that one was easy. But this is the one that's taking us all night. But it's looking good. I'm excited. It's so pretty. It is so cute. Okay guys, so it's the next day. Um, me and Tanya stayed up till like 2 or 3 in the morning finishing our canvases. So that's why we didn't record anymore. But it is now 2 days later. And here is how the canvases look. Are you guys ready to see? Ta-da! Look how beautiful it looks. I'm so, 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 so happy with how my vanity turned out. Look how gorgeous they look. So, pretty much what we did is we made a stencil for the Chanel number no. 5. And we just painted over the stencil. That way when you lift it up, everything comes out white. So we did that and then we did the same thing with this Chanel, the CC, and we just hand painted some roses on the corners. Um, Tanya's came out prettier than mine as you can tell. Those are Tanya's, they're all nice and blended. And then those are mine. <laughs> I tried, but it was my first time painting roses, but I think they came out pretty good. And I just love the way it came out and I love how it looks on top of my vanity and you guys the canvases cost $15 each to make um sorry not to make to buy they're $15 each so $30 for two of them and then all I did was cut the stencil out and paint them and the paint only costs maybe like a few dollars so it was really literally under $20 I made these canvases so it's a very affordable way um, to have pretty canvases in your room because I was honestly going to buy some on Etsy and they were going for about 
$80 and up depending on the size of the canvas so I just thought to myself I should just make one of my own save some money and get creative so that's what I did and I'm excited and I'm obsessed with how it came out so this makes me so happy just to stare at so don't mind me I have no makeup on and I just woke up and I'm drinking my coffee I better finish it before it gets cold so the next DIY that we did are some pillows and Tanya's actually selling these on her website. I'm pretty sure she's already sold out by now, but she is going to keep restocking them. So make sure you guys um, check out her website. And yeah, she made me this one because I was obsessed with how hers came out. So I was like, okay, you have to like <laughs> make me a pillow. So um, yeah, I just have this pillow here and then I have um, this scarf here. A lot of you guys think that this is a throw blanket and it's not. It's a shawl. I got it on eBay. <laughs> Every time I have it on my couch, y'all think that it's a blanket and it's not. It's a shawl, but I got it on eBay, but it looks so cute there. I'm so happy with how it looks. So yeah, um, Danya is going to be selling those on her website. And... Here's another pillow, speaking of pillows, here's another pillow. This is the one that I made myself, but she is actually going to be selling these as well. So this one is just a long pillow that says Chanel across it, and I think it looks so cute. We actually found these pillows at Hobby Lobby. It says Hello Gorgeous, and they were half off. So I just added one of those. And then Athania gave me this blanket from Kimmy Lux Dolls. This is actually a blanket. Um, it's from Kimmy Lux Dolls. I'll link her website to see if she has them available. But Tanya gave me one. And thank you, Tanya, if you're watching this. It looks so freaking cute. I just love the way it looks. And so the next DIY, as you can see, you see how cute this keychain looks? Yeah, if, if you watched this whole video, then you know that the pom-pom was white and now it's pink it was so easy to dye it and i never knew how to do that until Tanya showed me so now when i can't find pink poofs because it's always hard to find them um now when i can't find them i'm just going to dye my own so i love how it looks and then we connected it with this pearl keychain so i just love how it came out and it looks so cute with my chanel bag so yeah, and if you guys want to know where to get this bag, you know what to do. Just DM me on Instagram. <laughs> How she looks. I just love the way my little seat looks. It looks so cute. And so the next DIY is actually a really, really random DIY, but they actually came out cute. So if you can see this tote bag, I'll show you guys in just a second. Um, we made some mini tote bags, like maybe for your babies or even for you, like to put your um, to put these in your car and to hang them on your steering wheel, like where you change the shifts. You can easily hang it and like put your trash in here, like your straws, or even you can put your change in here, just something extra. Like I feel like this would be really cute to hang in your car. So I think that's what I'm gonna do to see how it comes out. But these are so cute and they're just so mini. So we just wanted to make some just to be random. So we made two pink ones and then we made a white one. And this one's like a real pretty glitter, if you can see. And then we made this one. This one's really cute too. So yeah, they're just like mini tote bags. Your phone wouldn't even fit in it, but like I said, I think it would be a good idea to um, put these in your car and keep it, like to hold your change or just something small. <laughs> and for the last DIY, it is actually going to be these tote bags. And I just barely used this yesterday because we went swimming, but I'm so excited with how this tote bag came out and it gave me some inspiration to start making my own tote bags and I'm going to be selling them very very soon if you guys are interested. Um, I'm looking for pink tote bags as we speak and then I'm going to um, add some more 
things to it, like maybe add some keychains, some poof balls, and then I want to add a makeup bag that goes with it. Hey you guys, I am going to start selling tote bags, and like I said, I'm going to include a makeup bag with it. I'm going to make it more bedazzled. I'm going to dress it up more. Um, and I think you guys are really, really, really going to like it because this is perfect for traveling, perfect beach bag, a perfect overnight bag to go to somebody's house. Like this is a perfect bag, like even a diaper bag for you moms out there. Um, and I just love the way it came out. So yeah, I'm going to start looking into pink tote bags and then I'm going to add makeup bags with them. So I'm so excited. So if you guys like this idea, let me know in the comments below who wants one. Um, but you can easily just make a simple one like this yourself with the heat press, but I'm going to add more things to it. So it's more unique and you guys will like it a lot. So yeah, that is what my plan is. So stay tuned for that. But that is how my tote bag came out and I really, really liked it. And I think the tote bag was maybe around $10, so not too bad. So yeah, that is how everything came out. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you guys want to see Tanya's DIYs, you have to see her DIYs. Make sure you go over to her channel. It will already be up by the time you're seeing this. And... Um, I think for my next video, I want to do a organization um, video because I am getting rid of this shelf and I'm putting something else there. So what I want to do before I go, I'm going <laughs> to tell you guys my plan. I just feel like all of this stuff here is so cluttered and that's why I never show you guys like this side of my room. And then look at this side of my room, like this is my junk side. Like, do you guys have a wall where you just throw all your junk? Like, this is my wall. So, you see everything pretty here, right? And then you come to this corner, and you see everything junky. So, you guys see all of the mess I have here, and then I'm actually going to be taking down that flower wall. I'm no longer going to have a flower wall, probably not. Um, so I'm going to be taking that down and what I have planned is to get rid of all this because it just looks so cluttery and I want it to look neat and organized. So I'm going to be moving this shelf and I'm going to be putting something else here. You guys will see in my next video, hint hint, it's from Impressions Vanity. Um, this vanity is not from Impressions Vanity by the way, just, um, the only thing that's from Impressions Vanity is the chair and then that drawer set over there that's from impressions vanity the actual vanity itself a lot of people ask where it's from it's actually from a local seller in my hometown she gets them made from el paso and then she brings them here and sells them so she only sells them locally so i'm sorry you guys if you wanted one you would have to drive to my hometown to get one but i got that from her and then i also got the mirror from her too but you can find these on impressions vanity if you don't mind paying for how much they are i actually got these got the mirror and the vanity for a very 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 low price compared to impressions so that's why i did not buy an impressions vanity um so yeah i'm going to be putting something else there i'm excited so i think i am going to be doing a organized declutter with me um adding things to my room and yeah that is my little room reveal sorry you guys for all the rambling but i haven't done a room video in a while since i got the vanity it's been a few months so i just wanted to update you guys on what is coming new to my room because i always get bored and i always feel like things can be improved in my room so yeah that is everything for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you love the DIYs. Let me know if you guys try any of these at home. Make sure you tag us on Instagram. And yeah, that is it. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.